Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS reminds taxpayers IRS free file remains open until November 17th. Honestly, something just doesn't seem right when you hear those two words, IRS and free, like right next to each other like that. I mean, is it just me or does that make you feel incredibly suspicious? The IRS providing free files seems kind of like the Joker giving Batman free tickets to a party. So, you know, within five seconds after entering the room, Batman will end up hanging from a rope over like a pool of sharks or something. <laughs> Holy sardines! <laughs> his bat belt containing both his wallet and his bat shark repellent having been stolen. Hand me down! The shark repellent bat spray! Holy tax code, Batman! Who could have suspected the free tickets were a trap? You're right, Robin. If only we could find in this restrictive tax net a hole large enough to break free and then somehow retrieve my bat belt with my shark repellent. And Robin's like, so you can fend off the sharks in the pool, Batman? <laughs> No, replies Batman, so I can fend off the Joker's IRS auditors. Anyways, first a joke. Here at Accounting Instruction, we don't just teach accounting. Down drill, Sergeant! Go! Why did you put that weapon together so quickly, go? You tell me to, drill, Sergeant. We're role models, teaching all kinds of important stuff, including soft skills, what, what would you say you do here? Well, look, I already told you. I deal with the damn customers so the engineers don't have to. I have people skills. I am good at dealing with people. Can't you understand it? What the hell is wrong with you people? I... For example, when picking your nose, it's best to use your left hand. Even when picking your right nostril which is both difficult and counterintuitive at first, but the strategy yields massive sticky dividends. It does not matter that we will never reach our ultimate goal. The effort yields its own rewards. Because like, your right hand is then free to do other important stuff. Special Agent Utah, this is not some job flipping burgers at the local drive-in. Like eating, calculating, and like, shaking other people's hands and everything. Mr. Pizza Guy, sir. Pour the double cheese and sausage. Right here, dude. <laughs> Mr. Spicoli, you're on dangerous ground here. You're causing a major disturbance on my time. Otherwise, you might get boogers on the food, calculator, and other people. You know, I've been thinking about this, Mr. Han. If I'm here and you're here, doesn't that make it our time? And certainly there's nothing wrong with a little feast on our time. Which isn't good. Honestly, like, picking your nose with your left hand is one of those important soft skills business employers really pick up on. Ah, thanks. I'm so hungry I could eat the ass end out of a dead rhino. Could have had you give me three of these things. Resulting in you being more likely to be picked Come on in and try not to ruin everything by being you. By the left index finger of the HR department, and then nonchalantly wiped onto the back of some office chair in a cubicle. Run, Forrest, run! Run, Forrest! We're back here, you! Where you'll harden into a crusty old shell of your former self. Run, Forrest! So, uh, make make sure to subscribe and ring that bell icon so you don't miss out on anything. IR 2022-199, November 15th, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service today reminded those who still need to file their 2021 tax returns that the IRS free file, there's a link to that here, remains open until November 17th and can help those who qualify claim the child tax credit, recovery rebate credit, 
or earned income tax credit. There's links to those items here. So we're talking about the 2021 tax return, which typically would be filed by say April 15th of 2022. If you then put an extension on it, that usually goes up until October 15th of 2022. So you're past the deadline even if on extension unless you have some other unusual circumstance and usually the access to the free file software which is actually third party provided software that the irs has somehow got them to provide for free usually up until the extension cutoff has now been extended beyond that up until november 17th so if you have not filed the tax return you might be in a situation where you could say I don't need to file a tax return, but remember there's a difference between not needing to file a tax return and not having it be beneficial to file a tax return. Those are two different questions. If for example, you have income below a certain threshold, generally below say the standard deduction, you may not be required to file because you're not gonna owe any tax. The IRS is not gonna come after you if you don't file, but some people, for some people, the tax return isn't actually a a something that you're going to pay right it's actually something that you might get a benefit from and so if your income is below a certain threshold it's likely especially in 2021 that you might still get money back from certain types of credits in particular such as the uh recovery or the credits the child tax credit the recovery rebate credit the earned income credit uh, and these are going to be refundable types of credits, meaning that even if your tax goes below zero, you might still get a benefit from them. Therefore, uh, since you have access to the free file software up through November for anyone who hasn't filed, even if you're not required to, even if you don't think it's beneficial, might be worth checking out because it doesn't cost anything. And you might be surprised that you could have access to some of uh, these credits and it could be a beneficial thing. So, you know, check it out. So these and other tax benefits were expanded under last year's American Rescue Plan Act and other recent legislation. The only way to get these valuable benefits, however, is to file a 2021 tax return. Last month, the Internal Revenue Service sent letters to more than 9 million individuals and families who appeared to qualify for a variety of key tax benefits but had not yet claimed them by filing the 2021 federal income tax return. So many in this group may be eligible to claim some or all of the 2021 recovery rebate credit. So the recovery rebate credit, you'll recall, is tied to the stimulus payments. There were three stimulus payments that went out. The last stimulus payment was tied to the 2021 tax return. So therefore, if you didn't get it for whatever reason, then the, re the recovery rebate credit is the remedy for that. The first two were tied to the 2020 tax return. So there's a recovery rebate credit for 2020 for that one. If you did get the proper amount of your stimulus check, then you're, you're not gonna get any more benefit, you would think, from the recovery rebate credit in general. Then you got the child tax credit. There were substantial uh, changes to the child tax credit. Most people are well aware if they qualify for the child tax credit, but there might be some that have unusual circumstances such as uh, someone has a child dependent and they're not the immediate parent, for example. So there might be some situations where people don't realize maybe they qualify. But uh, even if you do qualify, then you also might in 2021 be thinking, well, I already got my benefit because they sent it to me in a prepayment or something like that. But even that, they only gave you half of it because they actually incre they like increased the credit substantially and then gave out half of it or they tried to if they had everything correct based on the prior year on the estimate in 2021 so there's that one which is huge and then the earned income tax credit which again most people that are in that area probably are aware of but you might have more people that have the lower income in the last couple of years due to just life situations job situations which they weren't in that situation before and might not be aware of how the earned income tax credit works it is quite complex credit although it has from an economic standpoint benefits like uh trying to incentivize people to be able to uh, earn instead of locking people into not uh, providing for themselves due to the fact that they would lose the benefit if they did which is a problem with a lot of the benefit programs uh, but in order to exchange for that, it's a complex credit and they made it even more complex in 2021, giving you possibilities 
to possibly use the prior year income to calculate your credit if it was larger than or the 2019 years is pretty it's pretty weird tax software will help you with that credit as well uh, hopefully walking you through the process so and other tax credits so you got depending on their personal and family situation the letter printed in both english and spanish provided a brief overview of each of these credits often individuals and families can get these extended tax benefits there's a link to that here even if they have little or no income from a job business or other source this means that many people who don't normally need to file a tax return should do so this year even if they haven't been required to file in recent years so remember the fact that you're not required to file doesn't mean you shouldn't check it out i mean i mean i would almost say like anybody should ch at least check it out at this point unless you're trying to like stay under the radar <laughs> unless you're saying hey i think the irs just wants my information because they want to track me i'm staying i'm staying under the red car i don't care other than that you know you should probably want to file the tax return even if your income was low because there's a lot of these refundable credits and whatnot so there's no penalty for a refund claimed on a tax return filed after the regular april 2022 tax deadline the fastest and easiest way to get a refund is to file an accurate return electronically and choose direct deposit so they're all about the the electronic filing these days that's the fastest thing for the irs side of things obviously they are promoting that for their own reasons but also it should be the fastest way to get a, a refund so you'd want to do that but again if you don't want to give the irs your banking information and possibly if you've waited this long already it might not be uh the 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 speed of the of the refund might not be the biggest uh, detail for you at this point if you've already waited till now so so uh take that into consideration so anyway to help people claim these benefits without uh, charge irs free file will remain open this year until november 17th 2022 available only at irs.gov forward slash free file there's a link to that i hear irs free file lets people whose incomes are seventy three thousand dollars or less to uh to file a return online for free using brand name software so it's not software from the IRS. It's not government software because it was. If it was, frankly, it would suck, right? So it's actually proprietary software that's competing on the market, which somehow the IRS has kind of got them uh, to offer it for free. So you're going to be using, you know, good software. So, you know, so IRS Free File is sponsored by the Free File Alliance, a partnership between the IRS and tax software industry. Partnership, right? Okay. It might be a coer. I'm imagining a more coercive partnering situation. But anyway, a public-private partnership that provides their brand name products for free. IRS Free File provides two ways for taxpayers to prepare and file their 2021 federal tax return online for free. I IRS Partner Sites. Traditional IRS Free File provides free online tax preparation and filing options on IRS Partner Sites individual taxpayers whose adjusted gross incomes that's the agi is seventy three thousand or less qualify for any irs free file partner offers free file lets individuals electronically prepare and file their federal income tax online using guided tax preparation free fillable forms so for taxpayers whose agi is greater than seventy three thousand there's the free fillable forms option there's a link to that here now note that they like to say that they offer these free fillable forms to be able to say, hey, we, the IRS, are providing some... This is my interpretation, by the way. That, that we, the IRS, are providing something free for everyone. But most people aren't going to really want to use the free file fillable forms because if you're below 73,000, you're going to want to use the software because it gives you a huge double check over your numbers and some guidance. Even tax professionals would greatly welcome and do use software. Uh, and two, because if you're over 73,000, your tax return is likely more complex. And therefore, you're not going to want to do free fillable forms, you would think, which is closer to basically just filling out the forms by hand, which means you're way more subject to, to miss changes to the tax law that might be picked up from software, give you some double checks, some diagnostics on it, and you're, and you're way more likely to make math errors at that point now it might be the case that seventy three thousand. if you're around there you still have a fairly basic return i mean your return might actually be easier than a low-income individual at these at this point because the credits involved on the low-income side 
especially like the earned income credit, these refundable credits, when they're refundable, when they're not refundable, the phase outs are way complex. But as your income gets you know, over this amount, it also gets complex because now you've got more money and possibly more income sources and so on, savings and different sources of income on that side of things. And due to having more money, you might want to try to be investing your money in such a way that you have tax benefits for it and so on. So you have planning components with it as well. So if your income's above this threshold, you probably don't want to use the free fillable forms. I would then maybe think about paying for the software, even though you can't get it for free so that it can help you fill out the form accurately, even though you have to pay for it or paying for someone to help you with the tax return, meaning a tax professional. If you're looking for a tax professional, I would then look for somebody who's going to help you not just get to the immediate pain point of filling out the return, but also is going to be there for planning in the future due to the fact that your income is starting to rise to the point where you might need some more planning stuff any case it provides electronic federal tax forms that can be filled out and filed online for free to use this option taxpayers should know how to prepare their own tax return so always start at irs.gov 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 v for victory over taxes so from the home page, select uh, file your taxes for free. Use the IRS free file lookup tool. There's a link to that here to narrow the list of providers and the browser all offers page. There's a link to that here to see a full list of providers. Follow the link to the chosen IRS free file providers page. Prior year returns can be, filled, can be filed electronically only by registered tax preparers. There's a link to that here for the two previous tax years. Otherwise, taxpayers must print, sign, and mail prior year returns. So notice that the IRS is all about this electronic filing, but that's that there's still a limit on the electronic filing. So if, you, if you're going back like five years, then you might not be able to electronically file because they don't have the whole system up for you to do it. You know, back then you got to actually, you got a paper file. So filing on time actually saves you pain and agony as well because then you should be more it's more likely you're going to be up to date on the current tax code your current tax situation you'll be able to use the electronic filing you might have access to the free file if you get a few years behind trying to recap and and file past past tax returns gets complicated because you might be past the statute of limitations in the first place and then you might have limitations on how to file getting software that's old <laughs> to help you out to file it and so on and so forth so uh, the IRS uh, Directory of Federal Tax Return Preparers with Credentials and Selected Qualifications lists qualified local providers. There's a link to that here. So there's links to the free file stuff. So you still have to pay your taxes, but at least, you know, you don't have to pay for the software is the idea. You know, they so that's the IRS getting you into the room and then they hang you over the shark tank. But you know, at least you save some money because they're gonna, they're gonna, you're gonna, the shark's gonna eat you no matter what. You're gonna lose an arm. It's okay. Just just deal with it any case there'll be a link to all this stuff uh in the description